Okay, so before we start taking panels off of the GT3, the first process is just to take off the areas which are easy to access, so you can just peel off with your fingers. But of course, what helped to apply the wrap in the first place is heat, and that's also going to help to take off. So, hair dries out, let's do it. Notice with this wrap in particular is that even though it is a satin matte effect, when it gets wet, it looks fantastic. It's like a hybrid between matte and gloss. And I thought while we're here at Signature, we would take the opportunity to apply a gloss PPF panel to a matte finish to see if it has a similar effect to when this thing is wet. Check out the application now. We're literally just putting in this rectangle slice here. And once it's dry, we'll see how it looks. Now, of course, this whole process takes quite a lot of time, but the great thing about hanging around at Signature is there's always some really interesting cars in. Case in point, this fantastic carbon edition McLaren 675LT Spider. Just look at the work on this. It's a phenomenal piece of kit. So I really don't mind spending hours filming when there's projects like this. There's only 25 of these worldwide, so to have one here is fantastic. Right, PPF panel has clearly dried and you can very clearly see the distinction between the matte and gloss. One thing that I've learned with matte paint is that it's fantastic for photographs because you never have to deal with any weird reflections or anything like that. But it's done a pretty smart effect. The only thing I will say is that it is highlighting what is known as the orange peel effect, which is originally on this, this matte wrap. So if I move over like that, you can see there's these blemishes in it, which is not something you'd really want if you were going to wrap the whole car. So lesson here is, either buy the car that color or wrap it in a gloss wrap. Just a thought though. Applied, they took the car apart. And I just want to share with you just a little bit of a degree just to how much detail went into this wrap. So you can see inside the car here, uh, when the car is conventionally built, you've got this foot plate here, um, which overlays on the sill. Um, now, if we go back over to where Jack is right now, he's currently uh, trying to peel off the, the wrap. <laughs> you can see the extent of work that goes into uh, fitting a proper wrap. Even the uh, door clips, they're actually pulled off and the wrap goes underneath that to get a perfect fit. It genuinely does look like paint. Inside of the doors, all these door cards come off, these seals come off. We really do pull the car apart. This is the front bumper of the GT3. It's not often you see your own car looking like that, but this is the result of what a proper wrap job looks like. But if you want a really good job doing, panels have to come off. It's not every day that you have the bumper off your GT3. So the next stage is, strangely enough, to hoover the front cavities around. Sorry, Tom, you screwed past me, sir. Yeah, basically, as you can see, this area of the car, front bumper, um, over time just picks up so much dirt. And we thought, while we have the opportunity of having the front bumper off, we might as well make the most of it, since there's, there's like literally cigarette ends in here, leaves, sand, dirt. Eventually, um, this car will be going for sale, and I just want the next owner, really. If it was my car, and I was buying it, I would want all of this clean. So, eventually, when it does go for sale, it'll be great that this car 
is looking spotless. So yeah, while it's off, might as well do it. down at Signature Groove. These things generally take quite a lot of time. Now the full wrap is off, but before we unveil what the car used to look like, it's time to wash off all of the sticky residue that's left behind from the wrap, and then we'll unveil the silver GT3 in all its glory. Just ain't the same